Startup Lockdown is five HBS students coming together over five days, building five businesses. One business every day. How do we use this week to go do what we've been itching to do all semester? It's a startup project. It's a spring break on steroids. As a team, create businesses that are going to have breakthrough solutions to problems that are real in the world. And those businesses are going to be living, breathing entities, and we're going to continue building them after this week. Each day we focus on one idea and try to get from the idea stage to having a few key things, including a pitch deck, customer validation, uh, partner signups if possible, and just understanding the, the core user experience of the basic products. Monday we focused on bras. I want to build an e-commerce retailer that solves a gap in the market between La Perla and Victoria's Secret. The next day was Magpie. Um, it was our digital business card idea. Wednesday is all about doormat. Next day was Thursday, which is where we worked on Totem. Totem is a storytelling platform that harnesses the experiences of others to push your story forward. Friday was about restaurants and wine. We're trying to target the type of consumers who might use an app to help them make better decisions about A, choosing a restaurant, and B, choosing food and specifically wine at a restaurant. We spent the morning kind of outlining what we thought the different customer segments would be. So let's get the boys and M um, settled, send them out on the streets. At Ocala, go to Newberry Street and go to every single store. He just walked from the beginning of the street to the end, going to every single store that sold bras. And Ocalo came back with me and he helped design the brand voice for this business. Let's go! What is the brand voice and what does it look like? Yeah. Then we also need to start testing these hypotheses about how the business operates. What would we be able to give you to help you do it? What about you guys? How do you think about buying bras and fit? We want to do lots of different activities. We need to come back and center. Give them five minutes, let's make lunch, and then we'll reconvene. And we're really interested in both our narrative, the customer narrative, the investor narrative, and the narrative of the team. Is this the website? Yeah. Gee, this is awesome. Need... And I think the first funny thing about Magpie is that we woke up for spring break and it was snowing. We were stuck in the iLab because the power had gone out. Thinking about this information, this asymmetry, of why would I give a business card and why would I take a business card? At the beginning, it's about the card itself. At the middle, it's about the information that that card allows you to access and the network that gives you permission to engage in. If you can bring your team on the journey and put them in a situation where they can feel the value that you're going to be creating throughout the day, it's a really valuable tool to get everybody on board. It's like, I'm so tired right now, like I need to see what we're actually having as outputs. So we have a website, we have a flyer, we have a distribution for the flyer. And at the end of the day, when we came back together, we had all of the pieces of what our output would eventually become. I think a successful business is one that unlocks value that wasn't currently being unlocked. I think it's one that changes the way people behave for the better. I think it's one that is sustainable and actually enhances the lives of those who participate in the creation of the business. Most people that I've talked to think it's completely absurd that people spent five days of their spring break locked up doing work. We had fun. We actually created value.